Hey guys, something special for you guys today. We're going to do an extended version of what goes on in my office. You guys always want to see this stuff. It's going to be a little boring, but I like to do it from time to time to give you an insight to what goes on. This is Oscar. Hurt his wrist in a fight at work. Went to a hand surgeon, couldn't help. Massage couldn't help. Chiropractors couldn't help. Can't lift his child destroys him. 10 years of back pain. He attributes losing $20,000 because of his pain. We did an exam, pushed on his back, checking him out chiropractically. Here, we're checking his neck for pinched nerves. You know what I do here? And so you can see him kind of reacting there. Ouch. Uh, checked his range of motion back here. You can tell back. Now we're checking his elbow and his wrist for what his chief complaint is. Took some x-rays of him. Here, we're setting him up. We adjusted <laughs> him. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, that shit hurt. Any pain in your back or neck? Yeah. Where? The neck and the, the kind of the lower back. Okay, how much? About five or six or what? That's, That's about it. five. Gotcha. How about this one? Yeah. Where? Right here. There, okay. And this one? Oh, yeah. So more on the right or the left? Probably the this right. side. That's what it looks like to me. Two more tests, so we're done with this one. That one? Yeah. Yeah? And then this one over here. That one? Mm hmm So which one hurts more? The right side also? Yeah. Gotcha. And um, you notice how much neck involvement you have? I mean, it's a lot, and that can cause all that wrist stuff to go on there, too. So let me show you one more thing. Come on, let's post race. I'm going to touch right here. I just want to see how much involvement of your um, wrist has happened here. No! Oh, oh, shit. Uh, you uh, feel, you feel uh, your wrist? Uh, yeah, a little bit. It's yeah. like... Yeah, so see how... <laughs> the fuck? The fuck? <laughs> it's not my first rodeo, dude. <laughs> oh man! Let's check this right side. Oh shit! Oh. <laughs> the fuck? What are you doing, man? You got electricity there? Just touching, just touching. <laughs> shit! I feel like cave. Like, yeah, you felt it on your arm too. Electricity charging or something, man. Gotcha. Uh, go ahead and lay on your back, please. Okay, put your legs on top. Okay? Good. I'm going to lift your legs and tell me if you have any back pain, okay? Not your leg pain, but if you have any back pain, okay? Mm -hmm. Let me do the work now. Let me do it. Any back pain at all? Yeah, a little bit on, li very little on the lower back. Right gotcha. Bend your knee. Have this one? No? Mm -hmm. You can cross your leg like this. That one? Mm, just the leg, obviously. Gotcha. Just leg out here, but not the not the back. Yeah. Gotcha. About this one? Back pain at all? No. So more right gotcha. How about this one? Mm -hmm. This one? No? Gotcha. Turn on your stomach, please. Turn over your stomach. Yeah. Which side is worse? Right or left? All right. All right. How about this one? In here? <laughs> I guess that hurts a little bit, huh? Uh-huh. How about this one here? Not as much? Not as much. Up here? No? This one, yes? <laughs> more here? <laughs> oh, more oh, here. Shit. Which one's worse? Fuck both. Both? Okay. Well, let's check your neck. Okay. This side, whoops. This side worse? Or this side worse? The left. Left side, gotcha. Okay. Go ahead and sit up, please. So I'm going to check his wrist right now. So he landed on his wrist after a fight two years ago, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to push on here. You tell me the you pain. No? One, two. One, two. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. How about out here? No? Mm -hmm. Gotcha. What is this? Oh. How much pain? Oh, like nine. Nine, really? How about this one? Oh. oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. Now, what about in here? Yeah. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With this side. Yeah. Okay. I'm just checking your <laughs> your elbow because your elbow is connected to your wrist too. I check this side. Okay. No problem there, right? No. This one hurts up here, but not nearly as much as this side. Yeah. Just gotcha. like. Gotcha. No. No. We're good. <laughs> Look at you like it's nothing. <laughs> this one's messed up in here. It's messed up. Okay. Let's try a couple of things here. This one, no. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Gotcha. Four or five. Four or five of these. But this is a bad one right here, right here. Yep. Gotcha. And where is the when I push here, where's the pain? Like right here, right. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Same or different? Same. Same. 
Same. Open your hands. Same. same. Got your second legs. Same. 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 Well, same. Mm-hmm. Sounds best you can. Can you paint your back there, sir? Yeah. How much on scale one to ten? Uh, probably five. Five. Back like this, sir. How about that? Yeah. About a five. About a five. Hands like side. Um, go ahead and tilt one side. Can you paint there at all? Yeah. How about about a six. By the way. This How about that one? About a seven. About a seven. And then uh, twist your body, please. Do you try to do you try to adjust your back all the time like that? Yeah, as you know, because I, I can tell. <laughs> I know when somebody's a, a self manipulator. <laughs> How about that one? Yeah. How often do you do that? Every day? Yeah, about that. How many times do you do that? Once. Once a day. Gotcha. Don't do that, guys. Self adjustment is bad. If it did help, he wouldn't be paying me to help him. Okay, so uh, twenty twenty, and that's how much pain with those when you turned. Uh, about a five. five. Gotcha. With your neck, look at the floor, please. Any pain in your neck there? No. Look at the ceiling. How about that? Nope. No. Uh, tilt your head. Other way. Pain in the way. No. Nope. <coughs> Pretty good range of motion. No, no leaning against the wall. Go ahead and turn your neck, please. No, 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 no. Like like that? Other, yep. Other way. Wow. Pretty good range of motion. No pain with any of those, right? No. Gotcha. Oh shit, you're already <laughs> exactly right. Turn around, sir. Put your height here. Hold around. Good. Okay, go ahead and step off. So, five foot six, two oh nine. Any you pain in your back? No. Nope. nope, gotcha. How about your knees? Anything in your knees? No. Gotcha. And then, so uh, let's do this last thing real quick. Shake my hand. Squeeze as hard as you can. Any pain in your wrist or hands? Nothing there? No, the thumb a little bit. But a little bit. Okay. Here, let's check this one. Now squeeze. This guy has a mitt. I mean, he's really strong. Any pain in your wrist when you do this? Yeah. He does. A little bit. A little bit. Only a little bit, though. Yeah. If gotcha. it's in a firm position, it doesn't hurt. It's when the twisting and bending or gotcha. pulling. Or he says when he's at work and he uh, lays bricks for a living. So when he's grabbing bricks and placing them and twisting them and putting them in place, that's when it hurts. Right. right. Gotcha. Cool. 34. 34. 27. 34. Go back. Walk back, please. Good, right there. Now try to relax. Try not to, to try not to strain. Don't put your head back like this. No, no, no. Try to stand the way you normally stand. There you go. Now walk forward again. Now walk back till your butt touches. Good, right there. Stay right there. So I put this in. Okay, Oscar, I'm going to take two pictures. Don't move until I'm done with the second one, please, mm-hmm. okay? Stay right there. Oscar, open your mouth nice and wide, please. Good. Okay, close your mouth. Stay right there. Don't move. Three millimeter left imbalance and nine degree scoliosis. Here we have a five millimeter short left leg, nine millimeter pelvic rotation, six degree curve. Here we have one third atlas wear, low reversal, and impacted wisdom teeth. Hyper low back extension here and constipation. Why are you here, Oscar? So I've got a real bad pain in my wrist. Yeah. Um, how long? It's been for about two years. Yeah. And how'd you do it? Uh, just a little altercation uh, led to another at work and just... Got a little tussle with uh, one of the employees, a uh, little wrestling match on the ground, landed on his wrists. Right. Right. Gotcha. And so um, uh, tell how it swelled up afterwards. So after... I had the the issue and I threw hands, my, my, my wrist was very swollen. I don't know if it went all the way back or, or vice versa, but... But it swelled up pretty big that night, big, right? Yeah, it was pretty yeah. big. And um, then um, you also hurt your right thumb too a little bit, My right, right thumb went all the way back. Gotcha. So. And so what have you done for treatment over the last two years? Um, I've seen uh, hand specialists, massage therapist, chiropractor, um, it's been very frustrating. And so what have they done for you? What have all these guys done for you? What is the treatment for the hand specialist? I'm kind of curious what they um, do. Pretty much rub my hand and, you know, do some magic wand and just that was it, okay. waste my time more I than that. the anything. chiropractor? What the chiropractor say? just recommended I took x-rays. Um, they had a some kind of promotion where they just wanted me to go in, keep going to visits, and 
But Five minutes of their time, and I was out of there. You didn't notice anything. How much time have we spent here with you, sir? You've spent about two to three hours with me. Gotcha. And haven't touched me yet. So. Yes. So do you think I've, uh, I've invested in you a little bit? Absolutely. I mean, you haven't done anything. Let's be up front. But no, I have no problem with that. But I'm saying I'm trying to find the, out what's going on. The knowledge that you've taught me has been, uh, I mean, astonishing. Well, that's really great. I wasn't even expecting that answer, but uh, he's feeling different. So I want to know how has this wrist problem changed your life? What is, what is, what has it stopped you from doing? What is it, how has it impacted you? Uh, the biggest thing is my three-year-old son. I have to carry him like a little football. Oh my gosh. Because I can't use this hand to raise him or it just, it's excruciating pain. So Hold it's, on, it's hold a on. little different. I'm trying to imagine. So I'm, I'm trying to be sympathetic to you, but you carry him like this? Boy, I mean, I, I, it's, <laughs> I just it's laughed difficult. at it. I was thinking about how people modify themselves. It feels like it's like a needle or something right in the middle of. So, uh, what does that feel emotionally? I mean, you can't really get, you can't really hug your kid. Well, right? You can't really play with your kid like you usually it do. It makes you realize that, uh, you know, you just have to make a change, you know. It's, it's Im Good. immature sometimes, but people get out of hand and you just react, you know. And so. Yeah. I think the most important thing is that I find the right help. I'm tired of just dragging on and finding, wasting time, yeah. uh, money, of course, but time more than anything. Gotcha. So, so I'm really happy he's here. So you can see how it's affected his life, guys. He's also a bricklayer. Yes. Me and too. so uh, he manages a bunch of guys, but also throws himself into the mix and lays bricks. And so how does that brick laying thing, how does the wrist hurt you in doing that? Well, um, I have to provide obviously production and you know, um, it hurts every time I do that. And it's for eight, 10 hours a day, so. Yeah. Um, so we're not only gonna give him his family life back, we're gonna have him work better. He's going to, uh, his life is gonna change and we're gonna increase his productivity, why? Because <laughs> when he feels better, he'll be able to work faster. Right. Good. So uh, now he was talking about his sleep last night. Tell us how this has all been affecting your sleep. Um, it's been four to five hours of sleep yesterday. I think I got like two or three. Yeah. Um, and why? Why do you think that? I'm kind of curious because I know what it is, but I'm curious why you think you're not sleeping. Um, uncomfort for one, and you know, coming here and obviously also puts me in a position where I see your videos and I know that you can potentially do something. I love this because I mean, he hasn't been. T I haven't treated him yet, so he's like trying to manage his words right now. But I love well, it. I, I love the honesty. I, love I the just, honesty. I just have to be very upfront. I mean, I love that. I'm not. I have never been on camera too, but yeah. I mean, it's like other people that I see here. They're like, I, is it you know bait? Is it somebody you hired? It so you just saw Carlos sleep, right? Yeah, the guy was limping, and I was like, whoa, whoa, what's going on with your with your leg? Because he came in limping. I'm like, well, this is for real, so. And so what did you do when you left? You just told him what when he left? I was like, uh, Where's you your feel limp? better, where were you limping? And he was limping. I didn't even recognize it as much as he did. He goes, I saw you limping and now... So everybody is still questioning if I can help them or not, but I love that comment because he's he saw it before we all saw it. He goes, you were limping a second ago. So uh, anyways, uh, this is the real deal. Again, I don't mind. I have a chip on my shoulder. I love showing all you guys that I can help. And I am here to show how real chiropractic changes lives. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you can go get popped and adjusted to other places. You're not going to get the same care as you get here. But again, he hasn't done it yet. I love his skepticism. And we'll show him, just like we show you guys. Okay, so uh, other things. 10 years of low back pain. Tell us about that. Bending over. Yeah, I mean, it's just I've been bending over throughout the years a lot and the lower back of my no trauma yeah no okay and then also uh, uh under the right shoulder blade a couple times every couple times a year he gets his right shoulder blade pain right yeah a couple of about 16 years ago i used to work at a printing press and i think i overworked the the muscle <laughs> this guy's a clown and um I, every now and then he like, did it not me i'm just saying he said well, it yeah, you're, like you're packing the newspaper so i mean <laughs> Sorry, inside joke, inside joke. Okay, so, uh, good, I'm glad you're here, sir. Anything else you wanna share with us? Um, I'm gonna be pissed if you don't give me... <laughs> no, fine, fair, we'll put it on camera, how about that? Yeah, but I mean... So, uh, one of the interesting thing, he was in prison, got taken in for some whatever small thing. DUI, but, DUI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so uh, I appreciate him sharing this, but I thought it was interesting. I, I didn't wanna even share this because I didn't think it was that important, but tell us about your roommate in there. Oh, it was, you know, he was a chiropractor. I just love the story. And uh, he started, you know, hooking everybody up that 
<laughs> you could adjust this, the um, chair. <laughs> what 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 caught me was that I thought it was bullshit. I was like chiropractor for what? What can they do? <laughs> but he touched something on my stomach where this pain went down to my nutsack and then it came back up. I'm like, whoa, what are you doing, dude? Just yeah. not my nuts. I'm like, <laughs> not my nuts. <laughs> but anyways, ever since then, I did find out that hey, there is some kind of maintenance that you gotta do, mm -hmm. like on vehicles. So. What did he tell you about not wanting to get caught in prison? Like, oh, he's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose my uh, license. My if license. If what? So better watch out. Keep spot. So, I so hold on. He didn't want to treat everybody. So the uh, the guards or anybody saw him. That was of importance because he goes, I could lose my license. This is a chiropractor who's in prison. I thought that was freaking funny. So I love his story about learning about chiropractic a little bit. That was the funny one for me. Is the guy's in prison and he's worried about getting caught. I thought that was funny. Any pain in your blood back there, sir? Yeah, the Lord. And on a scale of what's that? How bad is that? Probably like a three. Like a three. Now take your hands like this. Lean back, please. That's like a five or six. Five or six. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Just be honest. You don't have to make anything up here. Look at the floor, please. Anything in your neck? Mm -mm. Okay. Look at the ceiling. How about that? Nope. Gotcha. Now uh, this is what interesting. We did this yesterday. Squeeze my hand as hard as you can. Okay. And this one. And this is the one that hurts. That doesn't hurt when you do that, right, though? No, if it's straight, like, like push-ups, I could do them like this. Gotcha. But not so like this. Uh, show the camera. Come a little closer over here. Show the camera how you move your wrist to cause pain. I want you to ch check it yourself. So if I do this. And how much pain is it when you do that? Oh, sir? it's like eight, nine. Eight, nine? Okay, now do it the other way, sir. And how much pain is it when you do that? Um, Eight or nine. Gotcha. So it's pretty bad. Yeah. And it's bad. He hasn't even worked in a day and it's bad like that. So. We want to see how he does after the adjustment because I'm kind of curious because he says he landed on it. He says he, you know, he doesn't say this, but he, like it's how we all think it's like a Collie's fracture. He's had x-rays, no fracture. He thinks it's a scaphoid fracture. It's nothing that, none of that stuff because it's all been cleared. And so this is a strain. He goes, how can you fix my wrist when I landed on it from just working on my neck, right? Mm -hmm. Put your hands on your belly, please, like this. Mm -hmm. Good. Bring this up like that. Okay, uh, I forget what car you've been. How many chiropractors before? One, two, 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 and uh, one from a garage, or and did you go to a professional? Oh, it's like three with that one. With that one, okay, gotcha. Have you had your neck adjust before? No, never. Never. So all those guys haven't adjust adjusted your neck. Mm -mm. Gotcha. So this wrist has changed his income too, and so tell us that story real quick because that's really interesting because people don't realize that when you get treated by me, you don't just get better, but you actually will make more money. Why? Because you can actually do your job. And people don't think that's important, but tell us why, how you lost income because of your wrists. Well, um, obviously when you don't perform, uh, when you use your hands, you know, you lose money, you lose projects, you lose, don't meet deadlines. So it just affects overall some of these traumas, you know, they just ruin you at times, you know. $20,000 loss. Mm -hmm. And he attributes right to his wrist, right? Mm -hmm. Nervous at all? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to take it easy on you, okay? We're not going to try to solve everything in one day. He's actually very trusting. Even though he's nervous, he's letting me do my job. Good. You're doing good. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Tell them what that felt like. The very first adjustment you've ever had in your life. On it's your neck. Bunch of chips breaking. In. Chips breaking. <laughs> Her, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And so we gave him a mid cervical adjustment, guys. And so, um, what is your first thought after I just adjusted both sides of your neck? What the hell happened? Exactly. <laughs> uh, anything else? Um, I felt like a little bit of like some pain running down, like a little electricity or something. To how far? Running down where? To your arms, your legs? To my shoulder. Your shoulder, right? So when I adjust somebody, this is a very important concept, is that I'm not adjusting just the neck for no reason. I'm adjusting because it's connected to the entire body. And every patient comes in here and they all go, why am I feeling this in my ass? Why am I feeling this in my toe? Why am I feeling this in my arm? Because it's all connected, guys. So in a second, um, I'll screen and get up. When you get up, no twisting or turning. The more you move around, the more you're gonna undo my work. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And so I feel a little dizzy right now. So we're gonna get you up and walking, okay? Mm -hmm. And we walk, it's gonna help recalibrate your spine, right? It's gonna take that dizziness that's in your head right now, it's in your neck, mm -hmm. it's gonna oh, spread cool. through the whole body. Yep. 
What do you? Why are you wincing like that? I got like a sharp pain in my neck. Okay, so you're gonna walk, and it's all gonna be different. Okay. Yep. Most important thing when you walk, arms down, look straight ahead. Yep. Couldn't help myself. Had to edit this a little quickie down the hall. Recalibration time. Let's listen in. What's your first impressions, Oscar? So right now, my left shoulder, for some reason, now has a, a sharp pain in the back. Gotcha. Um, and I feel pretty, pretty straight. What do you mean, pretty straight? Like, um, like my body should be where, where it's in a different <laughs> position. It's a position, right? Yeah. And so what do I treat? Only your neck, right? Yeah. Yet your whole body feels different. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, anything else you want to share with us? Um, I think we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, absolutely. Right now, so. so let's go through his range of motion we did in a second. Yep. Step back a little bit right here. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and uh, take your time, bend over, touch your toes as best you can. <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> you see that face, guys? <laughs> you see that face? Uh oh. Want something different? The real deal, huh, Mr. Miyagi? Yeah. <laughs> go back like this now. What'd you do? Exactly. What What do you mean, what I do? That's crazy. Something different? Well, yeah. I mean, I'm like uh, maybe a one or a two. <laughs> Can I try that again? Absolutely. Damn, dude. Did I touch your back? Hell no. Okay. Uh, next, shit. look at the floor, please. No pain there. Look at the no, side. I didn't have any yeah, pain. No, you didn't. I'm just going to go through these, right? Okay, now squat to the ground. Did we do the squat? We didn't do the squat. We didn't do the squat. squat. No. So actually, the wrist is why I come. Come here on the wrist. Let's bring the wrist over here. Over here. Okay. Da, 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 da. Yeah, no, 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 no. Come closer. Now, make your wrist go into the extension. I want to see what I'm trying to do. It's still there. Okay, it was eight or nine a minute ago. Is it any different? Uh, probably like a six. So it is different. Yeah. Now, you're not just saying that because you like me. No. And I'm Mr. Miyagi. You're not just saying that, right? No. It's different, right? Mm -hmm. Did I touch your wrist at all? No. Remember when you asked me what was the first question out of it? He called me on the phone. I spoke to him on the phone. What did you say on the phone about your wrist? About me treating you? Um, well, I asked you, you know, if it was something that you could possibly, you know, treat? take treat. Yeah. And, and you said, are you just going to work on the wrist? My I neck. Mean the neck, I right? Because like, it has nothing to do with the. Because it's like if the problem is here. Why would you work when the you ask those questions, right? Well, when the impact was here, like it's got, I'm um, in my so, anyways. I so, think. is there a difference though in the wrists? Yes, there's. And so, I'm not saying that it's a hundred percent. I told you this on the phone, it's not a hundred percent the wrist, uh, the neck necessarily. Right. It could be the wrist a little bit, because scar tissue there because of the years of, mm -hmm. of what he does, the repetitive tasks he does with the bricks and all that stuff. But again, he was like. You're gonna work on my wrist, right? Mm -hmm. I go, not at first. I told you, eventually, maybe right. I will, but not mm -hmm. at first. Right. What do you think of this process, sir? Um, I think that I'm very impressed. Oh, really? I am absolutely impressed. And I mean, like I said, I am typically very stubborn about going to doctors mm -hmm. and, and, you know, unless my body's falling apart. Mm -hmm. So for it's me to come in now. here and, and completely, it blows my mind that, you know, I see results just because you grab my neck and, and that's like Kaka. <laughs> there you go get up walk <laughs> okay I'm see, like, you. see you guys <laughs> he went out for about an hour walked around and he came back all smiling happy and shit so why are you smiling happily and shit because I know I'm not dumping my money away um, you've proven through just cracking my neck that you can do uh, lots of things uh, if I, I put my knowledge to good use in this hour and come to realize the neck is the core Therefore, it does make sense. Balancing the body will take care of a lot of things. So, uh, tell us about all. Tell us about how skeptical you are about giving your handing your money over to people that you've done in the past. Well, I work very hard for my money, and I think many people do when that come here. Um, the display you showed me of the spine was phenomenal. I think it gave me a better understanding. I thought the spine was just a bone that was holding the body up, up upright. It had nothing to do with the nerve system. So I think the time you spend with me just explaining really changed my 
This guy's really touching my heart. I'm sorry. <laughs> this guy's killing me because um, he's only had one treatment. He's only been here a day and a half. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he really freaking gets it. I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty crazy. I mean, he's making me emotional because everything that's coming out of his mouth is all just out of his brain. But it is so freaking right on, and I really appreciate him uh, sharing that uh, my time is not wasted. Right. And I think the biggest, the biggest thing we have is knowledge. You know, I think these videos have helped me through other cust or, uh, patients that you've had here get the picture. You know, spend countless hours just, I'm like, do I really want to spend my money with this dude? Uh, I think your rates are very reasonable considering the amount of time you've dumped into me as it is so uh, you know i blown away good well <laughs> i can't say that that's the nicest thing don't cry on me <laughs> <laughs> no i just really it's not, i'm not crying i'm just saying it's just i'm humbled by uh what i do sometimes because again i get paid to do something that i love and i love sharing this with you guys but you know it's guys like this i just intangibles of meeting people that are just so freaking like crazily get it so quick and uh, you I mean, know, I, I, I fight this uphill battle all the time, and it's just so neat somebody to. And my biggest fear was getting surgery. I mean, I have to work every day and provide. I can't sit there for up two months on surgery. Um, I just I, I have to avoid the needles and, and getting cut up. You know, so. so again, last forty five minutes. What did you know that notice that was different? So I noticed that my posture itself maintains upright on without feeling slouchy. Um, Did I, I am, tell you how to do any posture? I didn't say anything, right? No. And just the, the, having better posture wasn't something I even told you. Right. But how how easy was it compared to before? I mean, I think that the uh, that the way this works is you just allow the body to react. I've I've been recording my pains and everything. Who is this so, guy? I mean, it's exactly right. He's got it. And so I <laughs> I think that um, I just want to listen to him. I think. Uh, the more I get treated, the more you'll align my spine, therefore creating my core solid without um, having to touch anything else in my How body. How many times have I treated you? Fuck, well, just once. When did I meet you? Yesterday. <laughs> and um, Why does he get it so quickly? And, uh, oh, my God, I wish I could have a million of you guys. Just of you, just of understanding. Have an open mind to, uh, to something different and get it. Well, I think it's desperation on my end. Like yeah, I said, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I just, yeah. I'm scared of the needles. Yeah, I, I'm scared yeah, of sitting yeah. at home for another two months as we're already at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, so tell us about the wrist. You said the posture is better. Would any change in the wrist? I'm curious that, what you thought. It, I'm down to a five. I was a nine, but I'm definitely more. How did you open. test that when you walked around for the last hour? Well, sh shit, I've been like. Moving and moving and moving. Was, and so this is an honest five. It's different. Yes. Fuck, man. Let's get intrigued again. Uh, I, I want to ask one more thing. Mm -hmm. So, um, do you think you're on the road to getting better? Oh, absolutely. How will this affect your life if I do what I say I'm going to do, if you see the end result? How well, is it going to improve your life? I think it's a, it's a maintenance that I need to get used to once a year. And this is me just because I, I know you haven't touched that subject yet. But I think our bodies are like a vehicle or anything that needs alignment. It's a maintenance. Uh, oh, laying, so much. laying in the couch too much, bad sitting position. <laughs> I think we go off of balance. I mean, I don't. I'm not a rocket scientist. I'm not in medicine, but I'm just fucking like. It's gotta be. You know, if this guy doesn't make it as a as a mason, I think we should make him a chiropractor because this guy <laughs> fucking gets it, man. He just gets it. I've never. I don't. I mean, I, I have some people who get it. But he's not even in the field, and he's been duped by so many other doc so-called doctors and whatever out there. And for him to get it this quickly is just astonishing. It's not that he watched all my channel and totally understands. He gets it because he's just a smart guy. Just you know, he puts the he puts the uh, brain waves together and makes quick connections, and uh, it's just an amazing thing to watch. He gets it so freaking quick; it's out of control. I, I'm blown away by it. Yeah, I mean, I, I might look like a regular, just another Mexican yeah, yeah, that yeah, works yeah. in construction. You but, do, but but I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, shit. Just kidding, Mister Miyagi, you're gonna get down with the Mexican. But you know, I think I think you have a lot a lot to teach people. Yeah, thank you. And, um, I appreciate that. I I just hope that the gift you have, because I believe it's a gift, 
um, gets passed on to somebody. And I was just talking to him about that because, you know, to me, it's like, what's going to happen if this dude just can't work anymore? Like, people need this type of knowledge, I think. Mm. So that's all I got to say. Thank you so much. So uh, we're going to get adjusted again. It was a little louder too. Mm -hmm. And the reason it was louder, because I hate to say this, but you trust me a little bit more. <laughs> the reason it hurt a little bit more because you let me do it a little bit deeper, which needs to be done. But when you start icing tonight, that ice will help offshoot some of the swelling. You have a lot of swelling in your neck. That inflammation is what's causing that pain. Mm -hmm. Okay, it won't be like this forever. Just in the beginning, it is only because the spine is so messed up that it creates inflammation. That inflammation causes swelling. Swelling causes pressure. And when I adjust in that pressure, it causes a little pain like this. Okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Painful, huh? Yep. And again, guys, uh, not something to be scared of. I know you guys, when you're watching this, you're thinking, oh, my God, I don't want to go through that. But again, think about how much better. He has been professing that I'm doing. He's feeling so much better. Things are changing. Why? Because we're moving bones, we're changing things. I'm not trying to adjust him as hard as I can. He just has inflammation that's been there for a long time, and he's feeling that. And you'll see the progression as he goes forward. But uh, don't be scared of that. And like, how much does it hurt right now? It just feels a little sore, right? Mm -hmm. Gotcha. But it's not excruciating pain now, is it? No. Yeah. I feel more, more out of place, I guess. You felt that this morning too when we first adjusted. You remember that? Yeah. But you also feel straighter, you said this morning, but how do you feel I now? I feel like taller. Feel taller, I feel right? as tall as you, huh? Well, I'm making myself look short, too, as I don't want to intimidate you. Ah. <laughs> no, but you feel taller. I feel taller. And that's an actual fact. You are taller. You're not, I'm not making your body longer, but what happens is because your posture, your pain is so bad, it alters your posture. And now that I release that pressure, you said you have better posture outside. Right. And by having better posture, you're actually standing up better. Right. So you are taller. Mm-hmm. And so we got to modify everything you do to adapt to that new height. Right. Now, what about um, the walk? How do the, is the walking feeling different than walking at all? Uh, it feels more comfortable. The hips, I think, for some reason, feel more, always more, more uh, greasy, like they yeah. move easier, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting, right? Yeah. And I haven't even touched your hips or your back or nothing, right. just your neck, right? Mm -hmm. So let's go through the range of motions real quick. Go ahead and bend over, touch those real quick. Let's see where you're at. Nothing. No pain. <laughs> <laughs> no pain. Okay, look at the floor again. Look at the ceiling. There's no pain with those, right? No. Gotcha. Uh, come forward. Let's go over the camera here. And then show us the wrist. Just show us the wrist. See where we're at. Could be a five still. I'm not expecting to be any better than that, but it could be a four. We'll see. Yeah, it's like a three, a four. A three now or a four. And how long are you suffering with this wrist problem? About two years. I want you, you gonna go home now or you gonna work? No, I'm going home. Okay, so I want you to go home and uh, I don't want you to kill yourself. I don't want you to push yourself because right, we call this subacute. I mean, you're not 100% out of the woods, but I want you to go hug your kid mm -hmm. and lift him with two hands. Okay. I want you to tell me how that feels. And the reason I want you to do that is I want you to see how powerful what we're doing and how much we're gonna change your life and the potential that's gonna happen. You're gonna get your connection with your kid back mm -hmm. yep and um, looking forward I mean what you're doing out here for many people I think that are in the same spot that we just don't have the resources for one or time or work um, it is big I mean but you're unique in your own way that it's very hard to believe so well I appreciate that you know you you're very kind, and I'm glad you're here, and I'm glad I'm going to help you. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, we're not done, but see you guys next time.